Good morning, this is Suniti. Today we are going to look at the reporting of the Angraecum that I had, the Jumelia comorensis. The reason I'm going to report it is because one part of it has died. So this part, so I was trying to understand why that has happened. So I took it out of its, out of its pot. That was this one here, this pot. And I realized that it was all completely packed in moss. So uh, here we are trying to figure out the root health. So it looks like this part, the dead part, is here. The roots are all blackened and it's just really almost dead. And the second one is this branch here. And I wanted to show you something a little bit on close-up maybe. You see it has putting out, I think those are cakey buds, this green thing here. And I've noticed other place also here. You can see there. It looks like cakey buds. And there's dehydration going on. So I really was worried about the health of it. And I took it out. The little one here, the little cakey here, has a few healthy roots. So I'm going to repot it with less moss and see what happens. Maybe a little bit of uh, uh, bark in it as well. But basically I'm just going to lighten up on the moss and maybe get rid of this spike. This really is not worth keeping. So uh, I hope that I can save this Angraecum. I like it. This one looks healthy. I'm going to hold on to it. And this one I hope will make it. It has a couple of healthy roots. So let's see. This belongs there actually. This is the only thing it's surviving on basically. So. Uh, if I cut away the dead one, maybe I can just hold on to this and it might still live, although I have to say the stem looks very dry. So, okay, that's for the Jumelia comorensis. It is also affected, just like everything else, by uh, the wrong potting medium. I had not expected it all to be moss. I thought it was just the top covering that was moss, but it's moss all the way down. So. Uh, less is more as far as the roots are concerned uh, less moss is better so I'll keep you updated on the reported version just lightening up on the moss and watering more frequently thanks for watching